guys, I'm Jules and I am part of the raw vegan family. Mummy to 19 month old, almost 19 month old uh, raw vegan toddler and partner to Danny who's also a raw vegan. But today I'm just going to be doing this video all by myself because I want to talk about the difference between a master cleanse and a juice feast. As someone who is currently on day six of a juice feast, but who has been obsessed with the master cleanse for the last 10 years, and this is my very first juice feast, I thought that I should go ahead and compare the two because um, although they're both solid food vacations, they are very different. So I will begin by telling you about the master cleanse. I came across the master cleanse back in college when I was eating a SAD diet, the standard American diet. Um, I wasn't eating meat, was vegetarian already by then. When I first came across the master cleanse, um, a roommate in college of mine started doing it and so she was glowing, she was losing weight and so I jumped on board and I tried it myself and I actually got a friend to do it with me and we made it the whole 10 days. That's what it, the master cleanse is. It's 10 days of nothing but um, pure water, organic lemons, maple syrup, grade B, not talking Aunt Jemima, I'm talking grade B, the sap from the tree with all the minerals in it for the calories and cayenne. So this is all you drink for 10 days. It was designed by a man named Stanley Burroughs in 1940, and I have to look up when juicers were created, but um, he did not incorporate juicing anything else but the lemons, and his goal was to create a juice that was almost exactly like your digestive juices, so that when you were drinking your lemon concoctions, you are actually drinking something that is very similar to your own natural digestive juices. So as you're drinking it, um, not only is lemon a appetite suppressant, but it's filling you up with water, you're getting the calories you need from the maple syrup, and you can think of the cayenne pepper as kind of like little warriors that go into your body and break stuff up for you. And then on top of that, you are also instructed to drink senna laxative tea in the mornings and at night. And this will stimulate the bowels and you will eliminate. And elimination is very, very important in cleansing because as I will get into, we all have a lot of toxic waste built up in our long, long, long digestive system that we have uh, acquired by eating the wrong foods for most of our lives. The goal is to get this toxic waste out, to come to your natural body weight, and to um, flush all the organs and just give yourself a reset. So when your body has these juices, um, the master cleanse lemon drink inside of you, um, six to eight to 15 drinks a day, whatever your brain tells you you need, your digestive system will halt and it will shut down completely. And your body will go into healing mode naturally. So you will begin to heal any, any ailments you might have, uh, allergies, um, digestive issues, any issues at all can, I believe can be solved a lot of those issues can be solved by doing a cleanse. So um, my first experience with the cleanse by day eight, yes, I made it to day eight, I woke up and I had just never felt so good in my whole life. I woke up, I wanted to read all the books in my house, I wanted to go running, I wanted to start like five new hobbies, I wanted to call everyone I knew and tell them how much I love them. I just was bursting with positive energy and I felt so much smarter and so much more just alive. So um, yeah, like I said, this was coming from someone who was eating a vegetarian diet in college, definitely eating a lot of processed foods and drinking alcohol. So this break for me of eight days, with the, I just, I couldn't believe that feeling. And so then I spent the next like 
several years chasing that feeling again, which I always got from the Master Cleanse. So um, although there are days where you're really weak and you're cloudy minded and you're just feeling like hell because you're detoxing, I knew that the good days come and I knew that it was worth it. So for the next 10 years, I just kept doing this cleanse and uh, no matter how unhealthy I was or what I was doing in my regular routine, I would do this cleanse. And then when I was about 29, I became a vegan and then eventually a raw vegan. So um, my lifestyle really transformed and I no longer really needed these drastic days of cleansing. Um, to feel good. I felt good a lot of the time and I was finding that just through my diet um, <clears throat> But I continue to practice my master cleanse and I just could never really make it long enough to get all the waste out I would do 10 days max because that's what it says to do um, in the protocol and I would find that man if I could have just kept going how many more days would it have taken before I stopped eliminating waste and um, so I started to look up other people's accounts and that's when I started to see um, this juice feast stuff and how people were juicing fruits and vegetables and um, drinking that um, for 30 days 30 days instead of 10 days like you're supposed to do on the master cleanse People do go longer on the master cleanse, especially if they're experiencing a lot of terrible detox symptoms. They're told to continue going, and I know that there are people that have done it for a whole year. Um, however, I would have to say that as someone right now who is on day six of my first ever Juice Feast, I love the Juice Feast a lot more. I mean... I think you can maintain it for a lot longer because you do get the choices and the options of trying any fruit or vegetable you'd like. And um, the Senna Tea is not a protocol with the Juice Feast because as you go on for so much longer, the body naturally hydrates that old mucoid plaque in your gut and it will come out naturally. A lot of people do take psyllium husk or it's a bulk forming laxative to help speed things up. And as someone who is obsessed with the master cleanse for the last 10 years, I am trying this Enna on the Juice Feast. And I'm noticing that it's very helpful. Uh, and I'm just loving the Juice Feast because uh, it just gives you so much more options. It's so much more fun. But I do recommend the master cleanse. They're both great. And so, I'm on day six now and I will continue to update you guys with my progress and how I'm feeling and hopefully I make it all the way to 30 days and maybe even continue. So thanks for watching and let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions um, comparing the two. I know I didn't cover everything. Um, let me know. If you have done a master cleanse and a juice feast and what you think about comparing and contrasting which one do you like better also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join the family because we will be making lots more uh, recipe videos once I'm off this juice feast raw vegan recipes and uh, be sharing our journey to going off-grid as well all right have a great day guys thanks for watching